Spencer Tracy, the legendary Hollywood actor, captivated audiences with his talent, charisma and enigmatic persona. Throughout his illustrious career, Tracy left an indelible mark on the film industry, delivering unforgettable performances in a wide range of roles. From his early days in the theatre to his iconic collaborations with Catherine Hepburn, Tracy's talent and versatility set him apart from his contemporaries. From his tumultuous personal life to his unparalleled dedication to his craft, Tracy's story is one of triumphs and challenges, success and struggles. Tracy showcased his remarkable versatility as an actor by successfully portraying a wide range of characters from dramatic leads to comedic roles. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres added to his enigmatic appeal. Spencer Tracy was a rough-hewn American film star who was one of Hollywood's greatest male leads and the first actor to receive two consecutive Academy Awards for Best Actor. As a youth, Tracy was bored by schoolwork and joined the US Navy at age 17. Despite his distaste for academics, he eventually became a pre-med student at Wisconsin's Ripon College. While there, he auditioned for and won a role in the commencement play and discovered acting to be more to his liking than medicine. In 1922, he went to New York City, where he and his friend Pat O'Brien enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. That same year, both men made their joint Broadway debut, playing bit roles as robots in Carl Capek's R.U.R. For the next eight years, Tracy bounced between featured parts in short-running Broadway plays and leading roles in regional stock companies, finally achieving stardom when he was cast as death row inmate Killer Mears in the 1930 Broadway hit The Last Mile. He subsequently appeared in two Vitaphone short subjects, but he was displeased with himself and pessimistic about his chances for screen stardom. Nevertheless, director John Ford hired Tracy to star in the 1930 feature film Up the River, which resulted in a five-year stay at Fox Studios in Hollywood. Although few of his Fox films were memorable, excepting perhaps Me and My Gal in 1932, 20,000 Years in Sing Sing also in 1932, and The Power and the Glory in 1933, his tenure at the studio enabled him to develop his uncanny ability to act without ever appearing to be acting. His friend Humphrey Bogart once attempted to describe the elusive Tracy technique. You don't see the mechanism working, the wheels turning. He covers up. He never overacts or is hammy. He makes you believe what he is playing. For his part, Tracy always denied that he had come up with any sort of magic formula. Whenever he was asked the secret of great acting, he usually snapped, learn your lines. In 1935, he was signed by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, where he would do some of his best work, beginning with his harrowing performance as a lynch mob survivor in Fritz Lang's Fury in 1936. He received his first of nine Oscar nominations for San Francisco in 1936 and became the first actor to win two consecutive Academy Awards for his performance as the Portuguese fisherman Manuel in Captain's Courageous in 1937 and for his role as the priest who founded the eponymous facility in Boys Town in 1938. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to remember this if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content. In the course of his two decades at MGM, he settled gracefully into character leads, conveying everything from paternal bemusement in Father of the Bride in 1950, to grim determination and bad day at Black Rock in 1955. In later years, his health was eroded by respiratory ailments and a lifelong struggle with alcoholism. But Tracy worked into the early 1960s, delivering exceptionally powerful performances in producer-director Stanley Kramer's Inherit the Wind in 1960 and Judgment at Nuremberg in 1961. In 1962, Spencer Tracy was honored with the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globes celebrating his remarkable contributions to the world of cinema. 
Married since 1923 to former actress Louise Treadwell, Tracy lived apart from his wife throughout most of their marriage, though as a strict Roman Catholic he refused to consider divorce. From 1942 onward, he maintained an intimate relationship with actress Catherine Hepburn. Tracy and Hepburn were also memorably teamed in nine films, including Woman of the Year in 1942, Adam's Rib in 1949, Pat and Mike in 1952, Desk Set in 1957, and Kramer's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1967, which was completed three weeks before Tracy's death. Unlike many actors of his time, Spencer Tracy was not drawn to the glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. He preferred to focus on his craft and remained notoriously private about his personal life. Known for his impeccable memorization skills, Tracy often memorized his lines thoroughly, allowing him to deliver dialogue with authenticity and spontaneity. Throughout his career, Tracy mentored and inspired several actors, including a young Jack Lemmon, who would go on to become one of Hollywood's most esteemed actors in his own right. Despite his undeniable talent, Tracy was known for his occasional outbursts and clashes with directors. However, his dedication to his craft and commitment to delivering exceptional performances were always evident. In 1986, Spencer Tracy was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Ronald Reagan. This prestigious honor recognized his immense contributions to the entertainment industry. Spencer Tracy's impact on the film industry and his legacy as a highly regarded actor and enigmatic figure continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. His timeless performances serve as a reminder of the power of exceptional talent and dedication to the craft. From his humble beginnings in Milwaukee to his rise to stardom in Hollywood, Tracy's journey was filled with successes, challenges and unforgettable performances that continue to inspire generations of actors today. Spencer Tracy was a true icon whose legacy will forever live on in the hearts of movie lovers worldwide. His profound impact on the film industry and his timeless contributions to cinema make him a true legend that will be etched in history. Whether it was his unparalleled acting prowess or his animatic persona, Spencer Tracy will always be remembered as one of the greatest actors of all time. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite Spencer Tracy movie that you like the most or perhaps a moment in his career that you remember the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already done so, click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content.